Uh, do you want to find me? Uh, the film uh, Let It Be was completed in 2004 and it premiered in Taiwan in 2005. And so uh, John also says he's actually quite surprised yeah. by um, the, the, the overwhelming response. Yeah. So, we will think about what 碰触到了我们台湾人的共同的记忆 So we thought about uh, the possible reasons why it was so popular and one of, our, um, one of the possible reasons we thought it could be due to uh, the common memories that Taiwanese have Okay. Uh, so when we first, uh, when we were in the process of making a film, we told the granddads and grannies uh, that, well, maybe there will be no one watching this film except yourself, uh, but maybe you would be able to show it to your grandchildren. Yeah. 这样的一个以老人为主的纪录片，特别有讲农业的主题，台湾观众可以接受。嗯， mm, before the film started screening in the cinemas in Taiwan, we were a little bit hesitant because we were worried that um, the viewers might not be very interested in such a topic that's got to do with Taiwanese agriculture. Yeah.然后，吴米乐本身我都会开玩笑说。他其实犯了很大的纪录片的禁忌 um, Personally, I feel that um, there is one big uh, taboo uh, in documentary making which Let's It Be has committed yeah. uh, <laughs> Because there are no like, gorgeous men and women in the documentary There is no fighting, you know, no violence yeah. Um, the pro um, progress, the pace of the film is actually rather slow and it's rather undramatic, so yeah, it's a bit understated. So uh, when we did the post production, uh, we realized that the film was more for self pleasure, self gratification. So we did the final cut, I mean, towards when we were uh, working towards the final cut of the film, we decided uh, that it would be a crazy version, uh, a rather wacky version of uh, the documentary. So initially, uh, the film would give you the impression that it's uh, going to touch on um, people, okay, um, um, the farmers who have been um, in a way oppressed or marginalized in society. We 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 don't want to give people an impression they are walking while well, watching something that's serious. So we felt that one possible way to approach this is um if viewers felt that they had a stake in the, these characters, either feel something for these characters, 
you would naturally be able to participate in their journey. Empathize with them. Empathize with them. So, basically, I still think it's not But still, I felt that I don't want to be interested in the film at all. But, but, just like John Dong Yuan said, actually, he touched on, uh, talking about more abstract or more small things is a Taiwan common experience. In a way, you could say that uh, it's a kind of uh, nostalgia and it's a kind of melancholy that some Taiwanese feel uh, about. The countryside or the rural areas. Because in Taiwan, many, many people's parents or their parents or their grandparents are working in the countryside. For many Taiwanese, their parents or grandparents are actually farmers. So in a way, they are all in a way involved in the same kind of farming and agriculture. For many Taiwanese, their parents or grandparents are actually farmers. So in a way, they are all involved in the same kind of farming and agriculture. For many Taiwanese, their parents or grandparents are actually farmers. So in a way, they are all involved in the same kind of farming and agriculture. For many Taiwanese, their parents or grandparents are actually farmers. So in a way, they are all involved in the same kind of farming Let's be is so popular, but um, 这样的话，这个呃，但是 answer your question. No, no, I'll continue. Oh, okay. Then, uh, next, in the next stage, Wu Mingde on the stage was accepted by the audience. Uh, there were Kunping Bo and Huang Ming Bo. They went to collect a meal and got a winner. Um, okay, just was when I was about to pour myself some water. Okay, so when the film was being screened in that very same year, uh, the two farmers, you see the two uncles, okay, Huang Mingbo and uh, Ku Mingbo, these two uncles actually won a first prize in a rice planting competition. Yeah. Yeah. So the rice was very tasty and uh, with their reputation as excellent rice farmers, uh, it also created some kind of spillover effect for the film's uh, publicity. So even until today, uh, during weekends, you see lots of uh, tour buses uh, in the Hobi area. So Hobi is actually the, uh, where the film was shot, was produced. So I was very surprised when there was one year I uh, chanced upon an article in the Time magazine uh, introducing um, top 10 tourist destinations, including uh, Hobi. So that was actually a quite pleasant surprise. Yeah. 令我更惊讶的是，我打开，我想知道后冰箱的哪里。打开的照片是昆明博的种子店。<laughs> so I was uh, even more surprised when I found that when I flipped the pages and realized that I wanted to find this exact uh, tourist spot which the Time magazine featured, and I realized, hey, it's actually uh, the very same shop of Kun Ming Bo, uh, Uncle Kun Ming. Yeah. 然后那一年的呃，一周刊的十大风云人物之一就是昆明博。Okay, uh, just to add a little bit on, uh, so other than planting, uh, Uncle Kun Ming actually sells seeds. He has his own shop as well. So other than uh this feature that uh which Time Magazine covered, 一周刊 um, there's an English translation for this as well, right? Next. Ah, yeah, next next magazine, a very famous magazine in Taiwan and Hong Kong. They actually uh, featured top ten personalities. One of them included coming Uncle Kuming. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? No. Uh, lady at the back, please. Yeah. Two questions. First of all, um, I'm wondering um, when you uh, shot the movie hand in hand, who is your audience in mind? Is that old generation like uh, Nastasha? You want to tell the story about Taiwan's past, of course, which is uh, ignored very much, or you want to talk to a new generation who uh, has very little idea about what's going on in the past, and so. 
basically, uh, so uh, I just want to know that as a direct as directors, who, who do you want to communicate? Basically, it's the new generation or the old generation. And second question is that uh, the uh, hand in hand is shot in uh, 2004. It's since 2004 to 2008. 我们两千年中期左右，二零零六到二零一零。Okay，是二零零六到二零一零。Okay，是二零零六到二零一零。Okay，是二零零六到二零一零。Okay，是二零零六到二零一零。Okay，是二零零六到二零一零。Okay，是
all other forms of uh, violence, including white terror, or things that preceded, that happened before the incident itself, or after, um, very few youngsters actually know what happened. So, uh, we decided to actually um, approach the film matter in a way that first touched on, that first covered the love story of two individuals before moving on to met the larger political implications of their love story. Yeah, and also it allows us to map out the uh, historical context as well. Yeah. Before I started making the film, I did not know um, Tian Mama and uh, Dr. Tian in person. I did not know them at all. I wasn't, I was reluctant to, um, about the subject matter of the film. Mm. Um, films which touch on similar which touch on similar topics tend to be which uh, which already already produced and have touched on similar topics tend to be uh, more serious and also um, in a way alienating. Yeah. 所以在我進一步了解田媽媽跟田朝明醫生的故事之後,我突然發現一個可能性,透過他們的愛情,他們生命的故事可以拉出一個台灣民主運動的輪廓。So, when I got to know more about these two pers uh, these two people, I realized that oh, their love story allows me to map out um, the democracy movement History, uh, the history of democracy movement in Taiwan. Yeah. So I saw the possibility of uh, creating um, this story that allows me to look at the larger political context and mapping uh, that allows me to map out the democracy movement, and therefore I realized that oh, that it's quite a possible task that I decided to work on it. Yeah. Uh, personally, I feel that the film was more like a channel that would allow more young people to understand the history of Taiwan. Yeah. 我自己的一個學習經驗,我是那個年代三月學院,野百合年代的學生。So, based on my experience, uh, I went through the uh, political turmoil of um, the Wild Lily movement, okay? So I, yeah, it was my personal experience, and I went through that. 所以在我們接觸的那個經驗是很直接的。回到一個太陽花,這些學生也會是很直接的接觸到那種國家機器的暴力。So having gone through that experience, having gone through state violence, uh, it, I can imagine that um, the students who went to the streets during the uh, sunflower movement were able to experience state violence directly as well. 如果他們 so if the young people of Taiwan today are able to read, go back to that history again, they will be able to understand Taiwan better. So during the Sunflower Movement, we actually screened uh, hand-in-hand. 
，而当时的历史要比现在复杂更多，也很希望他们能够真的去认知，现在的自由民主真的很不容易。So, uh, the political conditions, uh, of hand in hand, uh, which covered, uh, which related to the history behind hand in hand, is very different from the kind of uh, context we are looking at today as experienced by the participants of the Sunflower Movement. So they have to understand that. So other than allowing uh, young viewers to witness the tyranny and injustice the kind of atrocities committed by the nationalist government, we also want our viewers to experience and see for themselves beautiful people strong, um, who have been active uh, participants in the Taiwanese uh, democracy movement. Yeah. So it's not just about telling uh, the allowing people to know about the atrocities and the crimes committed by the nationalist government, but we also want the uh, Democratic Progressive Party to understand what has happened in the past. The fact is that there are so many people who have contributed towards the democracy of Taiwan and we need to understand that them better. We need to know their faces. I believe that uh, every generation should try to resolve its own issues and uh, every generation has its own issues and uh, should try its best to resolve them. Uh, I would also like to mention that uh, Taiwan is the country with the longest period with of uh, with experiencing martial law of 40 years. Yeah. 現在的年輕人,現在的太陽花學運,他們要面對的就是時代的不公平嘛。So the young people who went through the sunflower movement uh, have to understand the injustice of uh, the period of their time. Yeah. 所以說這個問題他們要自己解決,不能靠我們這些老人幫他們解決。<笑> Because this is their own baggage, their own issue, they have to work it out themselves and not rely on us. Any other questions, Aunt Phoebe? Um, I wonder whether you can tell us a little bit about the production of the uh, hand in hand, because I know it was all, sorry, thank you. It was originally uh, made for the public's television service. So um, I wonder why it was being, you know, you withdrew the cooperation with them. So could you just um, explain why you decided to drop out uh, from this project and uh, also talk about uh, not just political reason, but also artistically, why you decided to do that? Thank you. Okay, so uh, initially uh, this project was commissioned by um, public television service in Taiwan. Uh, when the film was completed, there was a censorship panel uh, who wanted to review the film. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, so they wanted us to alter some scenes, some footage, and uh, there was some, but some of these suggestions or recommendations were not acceptable to us, including. 其中就一個就是那個林宅血案,林義雄他們家的血案,另一個就是鄭南榮的自焚事件。So two of these incidents that need, uh, require altering as recommended by the censorship panel included uh, the Lin Yixiong, uh, the, the incident, the violent incident related to Lin Yixiong, and the other one was got to do with uh, the self-immolation, the immolation incident of uh, Zheng Nanrong. In fact, it's not uh, altering, it's not editing, but it's more of cutting out these scenes. Yeah, yeah. 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 We decided not to do this, uh, not to uh, listen to their recommendation, because it would defeat the purpose of making the film. So we came to the decision of uh, breaking the contract with them and we borrowed money to pay off the commission they gave, uh, they gave us in the first place. Uh, artistic. Yeah. Uh, Calling so the public television service wanted us to just focus on the love story between uh, the Tians and not talk too much about uh, the political um, rights movement. But the two their love story and their involvement in the democracy rights movement was, is so deeply intertwined and because their love story is the key that allows me to map out the history of democracy uh, history of Taiwan so it's impossible for me to make that decision so uh, the footage that you saw uh, are all quite precious. We went through a lot of trouble and effort to get uh, these footages. So to actually make us cut them uh, would be quite, would defeat the purpose. Yeah. Okay, so we decided to, uh, to not abide by their recommendations. When I first watched the funeral procession, the footage of the funeral uh, procession of Zheng Nanrong, I was overwhelmed, I cried for an hour. And I asked uh, Director Zhang, um, how many people in Taiwan has actually watched this footage before? Yeah. So, if I see it as my duty to show it to the people of Taiwan and let everyone see it. <laughs> Otherwise, I uh, will not be bearing that yet. And I also ask, oh, sorry. I'm just quite curious how you work together as a couple as well, as two artists. So can you sort of um, explain to us, for example, uh, hand in hand, how was there any conflicts or any uh, interesting incidents or, or, you know, let it be. 
<laughs> she said, go to east. Then I go to east. <laughs> she said, go to west. I go to west. So obedient. Yes! Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Uh, of us have very different experiences. So um some of the voiceover narration and the documentary that you watched. Uh, actually comes from director Zhang himself. So, because director Zhang has gone through uh, that period, he's experienced some of these incidents and turmoil, so he's, the narration comes directly from that, it's deeply connected to his own experience. But I come from a very different background. Yeah. So the research, uh, the reading, the reading bit, uh, a lot of this comes from director John. I do not want to make the film based on my personal understanding. Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, sorry, I think, I think that was a mistake. So basically, uh, what? Can you find You have to. Feel feel free to link. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, so director Zhuang, uh, he did lots of the research and reading. So, um, Yan director Yan feels that. Um, the film should therefore be targeted towards people like director Chuan because uh, he, during his younger days, he was more concerned about studying, doing uh, what most other young people do at the time, listen to uh, you know, the parents' wishes and just study. So uh, she feels that if that's the case, he should be the one doing more research and reading so as to reach out to people like him. Ah. <laughs> so when we were 其实是很清楚的，就是哪些部分必须是他进来，哪些部分必须是我这边来组织。So we are very clear about our roles, the different roles that we play. Uh, some role, for example, different duties. We allocated ourselves different roles and duties. Some bits were allocated to him, and I covered some other parts. Yeah.就像吴米的，他是农家子弟。<laughs> For example, let it be, uh, Director John comes from a farmer's background, so, uh, but in contrast, I knew nothing about farming. So, in a way, we are complementary uh, in a co creation process. Actually, yeah. So, um, uh, I, th I think it's very interesting that uh, one, one of the char uh, characteristics of uh, Hand in Hand is that there are a lot of uh, Taiwanese folk songs. And what uh, brings the idea to you that you are using these folk songs? Uh, 对，这个人始终说可能是我。嗯，我在在进行后置的时候，心里面有音乐，所以不得不把它放出来。嗯，I was the one who made the decision of uh, including lots of folk songs and let it be. Uh, because during the post-production process, a lot of the, these songs were just ringing in my head, so I decided to include the songs. Yeah. 而且這些不同的年代它有不同的一個代表性。它對不同的年代其實它都對應的歌曲,大部分都對應到的。The choice of songs uh they have a reason because uh, all these different songs represent the uh, spirit of different eras, different times. 
第一次影片用这么多的音乐，我非常自责。<笑> This is the first time we've used so much music in one documentary, and I,、uh, and I'm blaming myself for this. <笑>但但是我没有办法无能为力。当音乐跑出来的时候，你没有顺着它走，你就没有办法继续做剪辑。I just couldn't help it because when I was in the product,、uh, post production, I feel that this is the way to go. If I just, I have to let the music sing. If I don't,、uh, I wouldn't be able to continue my work. And he is another reason why he has to buy these music rights. It is a very big process. The other reason why she is blaming herself so much is because、uh, she has to buy、uh, the rights of playing the music, of including the. These pieces of music in the film, yeah. 而且花了不少钱。A lot of money was spent. 而且这这这些都是我处理的。哦。So I'm in charge of the bills and pay the bills. 而且大家可能不知道，在台湾，很多的唱片公司，其实他们背后老板都是黑社会。Um, maybe a lot of you are unaware that uh many of these. Owners of record companies, the CEOs of record companies, they are like mafia、uh, bosses. So they do not have a sense of music, and they pay a lot of money. So they know nothing about documentaries,、uh, and nothing about the art of documentaries, and they would just charge exorbitant fees for including the rights to play this music here. I want to let them. 给我比较便宜的价价钱，只好每天跟那些大哥喝茶。<笑> In order to get a good bargain with、uh, from them, I had to drink tea. I have to like、uh, drink tea with them every day. 我补充说明一下，一首歌需要三个版权，二十五首是七十五个版权， Once, 全部是总导演一个人做完的。他是负责把音乐找出来。<笑> So one song has about three copyrights. So twenty-five、uh, songs would be about seventy-five copyrights, and all of this is、uh, actually director Zhang is solely responsible, and he has to look for all he has to source all the companies who are in,、uh, own the rights to these songs. 而且在我进级进行剪接我关在剪接室的时候，他没有让我知道这件事情，他有多困难或他有多贵。Um, during the post-production process,、uh, I wasn't aware of this at all. He kept this as a secret. He kept it away from me. I only got to know about this because、uh, we were unable to secure the rights to just this one song, and there was no choice but to tell me about the secret. So I said I was very angry. <laughs> Which is why I'm blaming, blaming myself. Why three copyrights? Yeah. Um, 词，作词，曲，然后还有唱片，唱片公司的录音著作权。录音著作权。The reason why a song might have three copyrights is because uh, lyrics. Uh, that's one copyright, and then you have uh, record companies which hold the production rights, so on and so forth. Yeah. About the use of the, the computer-generated animation, <laughs> because along with music, I think it's a I think it's a quite a bold artistic decision for a documentary to incorporate such an extensive animation sequence.、Mm. So maybe could you tell us a little bit about the the motivation behind it? Very good question. 嗯，就是因为刚刚想了解为什么在那个啊，康万一去有这么多的动画。然后是看起来像是一个非常呃大胆的艺术选择，很大的，很大胆，大胆，对，而且是他拍的那个副队是很长的。OK， 呃，我一开始说过，我其实拒绝做有关于一个所谓的历史纪录片的原因是，我们除了有一些照片跟访问以外，很难有其他的可能性。嗯。We one of, some of the difficulties that we encountered during the making of the film included、uh, being unable to get the footage, the original historical footage, and some、um, photos from the archives. 
所以我一开始的想象是可以像宫崎骏这样的一个动画，但是我们不够钱。So、uh, one of the choices was to include lots of animation、uh, that would be similar to the great Japanese animation director、uh, 宫崎骏。Yeah, hi, 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 Mizaki. So, yeah. So basically, we wanted to get someone like him, but because it would be a lot of money, and we decided not to. Yeah. Because because that will be a lot of money. We only have a hundred thousand won. That will be like、uh, millions of Taiwan dollars, and we had a very limited、uh, budget of just about one million Taiwan dollars. 但是我又想重现那个年代的一种氛围，历史氛围，时代的感觉。But I want to be able to like reproduce that、uh, the ambiance of that era, of that historical era. 如果我没有进行其他的一个其他元素来来加入这个纪录片，整个纪录片都会是甜妈妈的声音。<笑> If I did,、uh, <laughs> did not include animation, the whole documentary would be what you just see and watch would be just the、uh, voices, the songs of Tian Mama. So we need other things, and our budget is limited. So I know that the animation is not good enough. Therefore, we had to include something very different.、Uh, but I acknowledge that、um, the animation wasn't good enough. 但是在历史的考究上，我们做的很认真。But、uh, in terms of our historical、uh, history, historical research, we were very meticulous.、Uh, went through a rigorous process. 包括那个年代的头发、服饰、他的一个建筑物，所有的家里面每每一个东西，我们都有拿到照片。Uh, the details that you see. And the animation, which includes anything from、um, the hairstyles, the architecture, were all based on photos from the archives. In this part, we are very, very strict, so we spent a lot of time. We insisted on this meticulousness, and it cost us a lot of time. Including, for example, Tian Mama's young hair, we couldn't tell the story. Later, we found one person. 去理法院做到田妈妈满意为止，然后再去动画公司让他们拍各个角度的照片。So, uh, we wanted to show Tian Mama in her younger days. We wanted to be able to like recreate the hairstyle she had in her younger days. Uh, we looked through lots of photos, but we were unable to get the right effect or feel. What we did was to get Tian Mama to go to a hair salon, okay, do a hairstyle, and then we took photos. At the studio, we from different angles, and we created that same effect on in the in in the animation. Sorry,、yeah. not Tian Mama himself. No, no. not Tian Mama herself. No, no, no. Because Tian Mama's hair has no way to do that time. Okay. Because he he that time was twenty 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 years old. That time was a model, right? Oh yeah, sorry. She,、uh, <laughs> so we wanted to create、uh, recreate young Tian Mama in her younger days. So we got a model, but not Tian Mama herself. That was so weird. Yeah. <laughs> 田鸠吉女士当天发现林家血案的那件衣服是从地下室这样挖出来到动画公司，因为我们希望重现那个年代所有我们可以掌握的元素。So including 就是林鸠妈妈对吧？对对。So uh the Lin Yishong incident which you saw in 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 the animation. We wanted to、um, capture the historical accuracy. So what we did was to look, go through the photos, the coverage at the time.、Uh, so you see, what you see in the film was how、uh, Lin Yishong's mother was killed violently. So we took the photos, we brought it to the animation production studio to recreate that effect. So we, at that time, if we had one or two thousand won, I believe I could bring that film back to that era. If we had more money,、uh, we would be able to recreate exactly、uh, the same effect from that era, from the same era. 那个那个很像是我对歌曲那个年代的歌曲的一个脑海里面所想的情绪是一样的。Uh, 
um, this feeling that I have for animation is very much similar to the feeling I have for the songs in the film. Anyone else have any questions? Yes, yes. Thank you. Um, I was humbled by the by, by the rice farmers and, and their lives. The, the the animation in in the second film, um, the less colourful animation, reminded me of Apple Daily. Yeah. <laughs> um, being a, a a tragic. A roller coaster of, of a story. Um, how how did how did you cope with with, with making that? Mm. And what was the highlight for you of, of, of this story? So can you uh, repeat the second question again? What what was the highlight for them mm. uh, for for making this film? Hand in hand. Okay. You're asking about hand in hand, not let it be, right? The Highlight. 就是蘋果那時候的動漫畫動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動新聞動
Mr. Tian would reject her. So, one day, Tian Mama really wanted to buy a new dress. Then she saw that the daughter of Mo Song Nan came. Tian Mama would give her a lot of money that day. She wanted to see the opportunity. There was once when Mrs. Tian wanted a dress for a very long time. Uh, so on that very same, on that one day, uh, some victims, political victims, came to approach Dr. Tian for help. Okay, Dr. Tian gave them a lot of money. So Mrs. Tian thought, oh, wow, this is my chance. So he said, after they left, he told Tian Baba that he really wanted that dress. But Tian Yi replied, if one day you open the dress, you don't have any dress in the inside, then you should buy it immediately. After uh, these people left, Mrs. Tian told her husband, I want that dress so badly. So he replied, if there ever comes one day where you open your wardrobe and there's not a single dress left, I'll buy that dress for you. So Tian Yi is very patient for his family and family. But he is very patient for the family of the family. He is very patient for the family. So you can see that uh, he controls spending on his own family, his loved ones, but he's always very generous and charitable towards <coughs> other people. I don't think he has ever re rejected a single person. Yeah. Anyone wants to ask a question? Uh, hello. Mm, I'm wondering if the uh, uh, Doctor Tian is it? Does he knew that you are filming? They are you are making this documentary, and do you have it, any interaction with him? Mm-hmm.就是想知道那个因为田医师，他呃，就是他晚年在医院，他想，我想要知道说，在你们拍摄这段纪录片的期间，有没有跟他有什么互动，或者是直接对他。因为他应该是可以跟他讲他不能说吗 第一次我看到田爸爸脸上有表情，影片有秀出来，然后我我们两个都傻了，因为我看到他眼泪掉下来，但是他很多时候没有任何反应。呃，So uh, you were asking about um the interaction between the directors and uh, Doctor Tian. Because uh, most of the time he was resting and uh, recuperating in the hospital, so um, we are curious about the kind of interaction they might possibly have. Um, so basically, um, he's unable to talk. There was only once when uh, Hong, uh, Mr. Huang Zhaotang came to visit Dr. Tian, and we saw that tears were actually streaming down Dr. Tian's face. Yeah. Woman. 我们怎么认识田昌明医师除了从田妈妈那边以外我们阅读他的日记还有他的一些书信包括家里的跟田妈妈的情书所有他可以阅读包括他写的文章我们全部都有阅读So uh, we got to know more about Dr. Tian through the, his own personal diaries and also based on uh, the accounts given by Tian Mama 那是很大很大的好几箱。So these were like a few big boxes, big uh, big boxes. 我我要讲一个笑话。我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我
<laughs> okay, so uh, I want to uh, talk about uh, the materials we used for the two films. In the first film, Let It Be, um, the materials that we could use from Uncle Kunming was basically a small biscuit thin. So it contained information that might be useful for the film. But for the second one, Hand in Hand, uh, Tia Mama had a whole basement of materials, archives and records and photographs, including the space she was living in. So it was quite, uh, quite scary. <laughs> I think there was a question. So, I have a question. So, okay, no, I have to start with uh, basically because when I finish my, when I have to write my final dissertation in Taiwan, uh, it's something about the president election. So when I asked my supervisor, he directly asked, same, asked me to better, better just wash hand and hand first. Mm -hmm. So I'm so excited to be here with you, city director, interface with you all guys with this movie. And uh, second, I have a question because uh, since since the martial you you experience about the martial law period and uh, with the social movement. I really want to ask your opinion about the, the student, nowadays the sunflower movement. What, is there any opinion? And uh, also, because I'm from Hong Kong, is, do you have any opinion? <laughs> Maybe this is a bit extra, but uh, you, what is your opinion about the umbrella movement as well? Umbrella movement, uh, before the Sunflower Movement, Taiwanese students were very divorced, very distant away, uh, they were distant from the politics. So, so when the Sunflower Movement occurred in March last year, uh, a lot of people were very excited. Finally, uh, the, the, the movement of democracy is coming back to the streets in Taiwan. So Taiwanese students started to get uh, interested in public uh, issues that are of public interest. Okay, it's not just about the self. Yeah. So, uh, in this context, under this context, a lot of Taiwanese students were uh, very interested, were taking a keen interest in what was happening in Hong Kong as well. So before we came to London, we participated in this film festival in Kaohsiung. Uh, some Hong Kong uh, film directors, yeah. Yeah, they came over, uh, they participated in the film, film festival as well. And at the end of the uh, festival, all of us, including our Hong Kong counterparts, uh, shouted, uh, support Hong Kong. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, even though um, Taiwan students might not sing out rightly supportive, may not show that uh, support for the Hong Kong students so uh, directly, but if you look at their Facebook, uh, the, the social media websites, uh, the support is quite evident. So I want to say that uh, the, uh, the growing uh, political involvement of Taiwanese students has a lot to do with the Sunflower Movement because I think it's quite a game-changing uh, movement that has made uh, them think about uh, the society we live in.